everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So today we got the Zeus up and running. Uh, as you notice, we got 3.5 million C-bills, which is great. I sold a whole bunch of crap, the Thumper Artillery, um, the Sniper Artillery, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, cores, uh, extra XL engines that we had lying around, made a lot of C-bills and was able to get some stuff up and running here. So really the big thing is the Zeus X. So let's have a look at this. Everything else just is kind of still the same. We pulled the um, Centurion out of service. Now I didn't sell it, I kept it. Just in case something happens to one of our mechs, we have something to bring back in. We do have the Clint Eastwood mech still, but without a Rack 20, it's kind of not <laughs> worth putting together. But anyway, the Zeus X, let's have a look at this guy. I had a lot of thought about what I was gonna do with this, and we knew we were gonna go with the Rack build. So this is what I ended up with. So we got a Rotary Auto Cannon 5 on this arm with the tag barrage. Now the rotary auto cannon 5 is supported by the plus 3 arm mounted weapon and upper recoil which gives us m minus 2 recoil reduction which is good. Plus with our pilots you know we'll get some more rec recoil reduction as well. We got 5 tons of ammo which we we were running with 3 for a while. We were finding we were kind of holding back on some of our shots so this time with the f with the 4 tons which is what we put in the Centurion that last battle um, this will uh, at least um, let us fire for you know a good amount of time. Now I left the case reactive plating in here simply because it adds to ballistic and missile attacks. I'm mostly concerned about the missile attacks um, simply because we're going to be standing at range most of the time and we most likely be taking a lot of missile uh, attacks so the plus 30 percent resistance to missile attacks is great. Um, then on the other side we did add the streak 20 it's got an arm mount on it as well for plus 3 accuracy, but the Shriek 20 is over here. Uh, it, gets, it gets a bonus of accuracy and evasion ignore. Um, that plus the plus 3, and we've got uh, 12 tons of continuous fire with the Shriek. So those are all guaranteed to hit. So this thing can do 960 damage guaranteed with all the hits. So that's pretty damn good for this thing. Uh, plus we put an LRM-15 in here as well. It was really lightweight. I tried, I toyed around a bit with um, adding additional weaponry to this thing, but with the limited amount of weight that I had left over, um, plus the amount of heat sinking I could afford to put in. Uh, now originally I had to put a 330 core in this guy, which gave it a little, one more sprint than a 320 core, but I had to drop the core back to a 320 simply because we needed the weight for extra heat sinks, which I dropped the plus two heat sink kit we had in here as well. Uh, so our heat is actually pretty darn neutral, 72, 77. Um, got our Guardian ECM suite in here, uh, gunnery support A. Now I haven't put the other gunnery supports back into the mechs yet. I probably should have did that. I just kind of remembering now I forgot to do that. But we got the uh, sensor trackers uh, for the long range accuracy. Now I didn't go with the battle computer because the Zeus X is already got uh, plus one accuracy and minus one recoil with its in, uh, independent battle com computer and uh, called shot modifier of 10%. And I didn't have the weight to add the other, other targeting components and the space to add the other targeting components in here. So it really wasn't worth doing right away. So we're gonna see how this thing does accuracy wise at long range. Uh, most likely it's gonna be like incredibly good. So I'm not really that worried about it. We've got plus one, uh, plus five, and then the plus three on the arm mounts. So plus eight accuracy at extreme range with these things. And we're gonna be doing a lot of damage from long range. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, good amounts of armor. Uh, I had to lower the CT a little bit in the back a little bit in the legs, just a tiny bit to be able to get the weight to work. We've got a backup medium laser here in the CT. Just in case it goes long, we run out of ammo, whatever. I also included um, some LRM Thunder improved ammo. Uh, or just sorry, Thunder ammo for the um, for the LRMs, so we can support the other LRM that we have with uh, Thunder ammo. Oh, sorry, that was the one we took out. That's right, we took that out of the uh, Centurion. So why is this the regular Thunder and not the improved ammo? Um, that should be the improved ammo. Ah, here it is. Okay, I must have just. We're going to do that. I want to put the improved ammo in, so that's going to take a day to fix. But that's this guy, and if that's going to take a day, then let's get the gunnery support in. Uh, now, who do we need with gunnery support? Most likely, oh, why did these all go back to where they were? Thunderbolt, let's refit this guy. Let's put some gunnery support in the Thunderbolt. Yeah, we can do that. Um, 
So it's down here. Gunnery support. Let's put uh, support A and leave the B out. Let's confirm this. And then I want to put, let's see what we've got in with the Ultra 20. Oh wait, the Prime is the ATM build, sorry. Let's go back. That's actually got pretty good chances to hit, so I'm not worried about that. It's the, this guy, right, with the Ultra 20. Yep, this is the one. So let's go with both of the other ones. Let's zoom down here. We can get them both in, which is awesome. Uh, where are we here? Gunnery support A and gunnery support B. Beautiful. We got a better uh, range finder. Let's drop that in. Um, that's always good to have on this Mac. And yeah, I think that's it. Can we get any more? No, we can't. All right, that's one day confirmed. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to take a four and a half skull mission today. It's an escort mission in the tundra. Let's get these fixed first, though. So I'm interested to see how well we fare. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. If we get three lances at the start, it could be an issue, but um, we'll have to see here. So uh, where are we here? Scientific emergency. All right. Surprise attack by pirates to capture our research, research facility. We've got to get the uh, pro advanced prototype out of there uh, with an escort. Get it to safety before the enemies pick it up. Now, hopefully it's not that same hilly map, but we'll see how that goes. Full salvage, because I want good components. And let's get our lances set up here. So Zeus, GS Prime, the Archer, and Hellion, uh, Gundul, and Mastodon. We're going to go the same route, and let's deploy and get this done. Okay, immediate contacts. Looks like we've got some support here. Wow. All right, this map. I enjoy this map. That's That chopper seems to be really high up there. All right, let's see what we're up against. Now, we are up against pirates. We do have a bit of support here, but this is really going to be for the opening engagement, most likely. Wow, is that an atlas? It is. Behemoth? Stone Rhino. God damn, man. Why did you need us? Griffin? Dire Wolf? Why, why did you need us? Another Dire Wolf? Dire Star. Let's not get in this guy's way. <laughs> oh, fuck beef. You're nuts. All right, what do we got here? Awesome. Maul Mahler. Anubis. Orion. Orion. Castile. Cascatel? What the hell's a Cascatel? Oh, it's a vehicle. I thought that's the is that the chopper? That's the chopper? Kind of a weird positioning for that chopper. Um Muller 2 ER PPC. Two rotary twos. That guy's gotta go down like like a sack of potatoes. This guy's ain't got much. Oh, okay. Let's get this sucker started. Oh, crap. You know what? We're going to reserve. Because, damn. Good luck with that. Going to reserve. These guys have to move first because we're never going to hit them. Looks like they've got three lances here at the start. Since they're pirates, that's 12 mechs. So right now it's 12 on 12. And with what I can see back here, <laughs> this dire star, they don't stand too much of a chance. Hopefully these mechs behind us don't follow us into battle. Hopefully they stay back here. Stone Rhino, pair of clan galses. Two large pulses, two medium pulses, two small pulses. 
It's crazy. I'm gonna reserve. What is this guy? Just a carrier? I got two of them there. Oh, that guy's got streaks. Most likely because he didn't fire. LRM Carrier Mark II. Thumper Artillery Vehicle. That guy's got to go. Well, I was hoping for a little more competition in this one, but I get, you know, I shouldn't open my mouth. Really shouldn't. Oh, we got a Roughneck back there. 65 tons. So I haven't turned up the difficulty yet. Um, thought about it between episodes. I thought I would try out a, a uh, four and a half skull first here just to see what it's like. Now escort missions generally the competition is a little weaker. Um, even though you're facing more of them the, the actual mechs are a little weaker. So it's a good opportunity to at least um, see what we're capable of here. I think we'll hold off the next two turns as well. So Mastodon, Duck, Goofy and Infiltrator will all wait. But yeah, I, I, you know, I didn't want to turn it up and then walk into a massacre. That would be very bad. Um, just going to reserve. I copy. Um, but we'll see how this battle goes. We're facing three lances here, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. It doesn't look like there's any... Well, the Mauler and the Orion are two tough, well, relatively tough mechs, but they just don't have the firepower compared to what we have and our support lance. So I'm not really worried about these guys. I mean, if even if our support lance wasn't here, these guys would go down hard, most likely. But we'll see. I don't mean to toot my own horn in or anything, but uh, toot toot. They are full armor now, too, so I shouldn't... Um, I shouldn't be talking too much smack. Oh, beef, man, you're in trouble. I think we're safe to move now. How do we want to push these guys? we got to sweep them clear, but I think the threat really... This is what? Heavy carrier, 80 tons. That's a threat right there. At least he's revealed himself now. So let's pull out a little bit like this. I think this guy, wow. That's the Anubis. Mahler hasn't gone yet. Really? Thought he went already. Orion? Thumper artillery vehicle? Look at that, it's got three of them. Or five of them, I mean. Chopper. Might be able to kill the chopper. LRM carrier. Uh, let's go after him and let's leave the uh, arrow on. Wow, really? Yeah, see, I was talking smack, eh? That's what it is. Come on, Dire Wolf. Let's get started. I'm interested to see what our Zeus can do. Okay, one thing at a time. Let's pull that LRM carrier down. It's been weakened. And hopefully we've got one lance between here and our and the outpoint and then we got to move in closer than that. And then one lance at the end. Let's get into here. Okay. Huh. Alright, I think we go against the Thumper. That's a lot of armor. Okay, it's got three machine, or five machine guns. Or four machine guns, sorry. Gotta learn how to count. Alright, let's do this with one. Wow. 
It's going to be a long fight if we're going to keep this up. You know what it is? I, I blame it on the hesitation. We hesitated. That's the problem. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, Mulder goes on 15. Let's see what he does. Nothing. He probably chose one of the targets back here. I bet you that's what's happening is that these guys choose a target and then they realize they can't hit it and then they just don't do anything. Rather than cycling through everybody to try and find a better target, they just kind of like, oh, this guy's the biggest threat, we'll target him. But I can't hit this guy, so I just won't fire. Okay, we need to get in the trees, please. Stay away from the beef, he's going to get himself killed. Alright, not that great a chance to hit. <sighs> Much better against this guy. Let's take it. I'm going to hold off the Warlord though. Okay, well. Let's show them what this baby can do. Look at that. Well, this guy can't be allowed to stay, so let's just shred this guy as fast as we can. Beautiful. Let's get the ATMs on the same guy, please. Just pull back into here. Standard ammo, firing at all. Ooh, still qu not quite enough, eh? Probably got a goddamn load in his pants, though. Um, let's get into here. You can target this guy with what, though? Not a whole lot. Let's leave these guys off. Um, 35 with the barrage on this guy. 35 on this guy as well. Let's do a multi. See if we can... I don't think we'll get them both, but we're going to target you and you. And we're going to put the barrage on the second one and fire. Okay, well, the first guy took the barrage anyway. <laughs> I need you to apply some damage to some people for me, please. Um, yeah, no. Let's get over here. Okay, um... Um is not a word. Um is not a word. Do we just shred? I think we just have to shred this guy. Let's leave the barrage off. We're just going to fire everything on him. we got to guarantee the kill on that thing. It's an 80 ton carrier. Who the hell knows what the hell it had. MMLs. Who knows. Okay. Let's uh, put the smack down on these guys now. Got it. Oh shit. <laughs> what do we got back here? Thunderbolt. Crusader. Berserker. Okay. And an Orion again. Another Orion. Alright. This guy's got his back to us though. It's still not a good chance to hit. It's the range. All right. Um, this guy's got to go. Let's give him a hello. Okay, both hit. Beautiful. Tags on. I'm receiving you. Let's get some maneuvers to the side of that. Uh, here we go. Side of the mauler.
good chances. We're going to leave the LRMs on. We're going to Warlord this guy because he is uh, fortified there. I want to get as much damage on him as we can. Okay, one of his rotary twos are down. I think if we do what we did that last battle where we climbed the hill, if we smash these guys hard early, man, I'm sorry, I'm screwing the camera up again. I apologize. Stop doing it until it's my turn here. Uh, if we can smash some of their heavy guys early here, maybe we can force a retreat. Now, I know they have heavy guys at the back there. Um... You're on artillery watch right now. Now, do you have the ability to hit this guy with HE? We do. And I'm going to use it because I want this guy gone. I'm going to warlord it, confirm it, and we're going to try and get rid of this, this carrier. All weapons are go. Not quite enough, eh? One of his lerms was destroyed, though. That helps. Okay, at least we have our allies moving up. Thank you for the late locks, but we'll take it. The Berserker I love to shoot in the back, but the chances to hit were so bad, it's like... It's almost like he's like, hey, come on. Waste all your shots on me. Try and get me from behind. It's like, now nah, I'm not wasting my shots on you. Orient's got a bail. He's trying to, anyway. It's a bad move, though. I don't think he's got an arc on anybody here. Got a lock on me. Oh, okay. That's what you want to do? Your call, buddy. It pretty much seals your fate next turn, but whatever. Cascatel moving out of there. Yeah, you just stay back there, buddy. Okay, we should be able to maybe pull the mauler down and the LRM boat. I hope. Okay. Yeah, they are retreating. Yeah. Okay, rack is already jammed. That really sucks. Um That's a little much, I think. Let's just fire these. Okay. Oops, I made a mess. You certainly did, but that is your job. Yep. Okay, what do we got up over here again? That's the Thunderbolt. They're running. They're all running. Except for that guy. Okay, we're going to try and get uh, some people between you and the enemy there. I don't know who that was. I don't know if that was the... I don't think that was... Oh, yeah, I think it was the Mauler. Gonna stand in front of her. Hopefully block some targets from shooting. We're gonna just shoot straight out, penetrate the side here. Engaging target. Uh, and kill him. That was my goal. Enemy destroyed. See ya. Don't run them XL engine boys. That's all I gotta say. If you got a Klein XL, go ahead. If you don't have a Klein XL, don't do it. Unless the mech comes with it pre-installed, it is like 
it's just a death sentence. It really is. All right. Uh, who do we want a Baraji here? Let's just move forward and then we'll see what we got. Copy that. Now we've got... Okay, I think we're going to multi-target this here. What do we got a chance here? That's pretty low. The back of this guy is what? 47. That's not bad. But if we can't get... That's the back of the chopper. How much has it got in the back? 80 armor. Not a good chance to hit though. Um, roughneck, 47. Let's just tab through this here. 47 on the Berserker. 25 on the whatever. The Chopper. Orion. Crusader. Thumper's getting the tag. So I guess you'll get the rest. Apologize for calling the Orion the Orion. If it bothers people, too bad. Be oh, shit. That's my punishment. <laughs> We're calling him the Orion. <laughs> dire star is still overheating. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to call him the Orion. I can't call him the Orion. I think once we get forward enough and those other mechs are farther behind, those guys might turn to fight, but right now they're like, they just don't have a chance, so they're moving. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. Move up. Uh, let's get rid of this thumper if we can. Thanks, man. I can always count on you. Let's put it down hard. Oof. Yeah, but you didn't kill him, man. You had one job to do. All right, so. Let's see if we can stop this guy from getting away here. Um, wait a minute. Uh, let's just fire. It gives us a better chance to hit. All right, here it comes. Good job softening him up. Softening him up. Uh, I'm gonna move to here. At least he ain't shooting me, that's all I gotta say. Well, this Orion sealed his own fate, so... Get his arm? We got him. Okay, where is... Guy's mostly damaged. Okay, turret and left side. Uh, that's a back shot. I don't want a back shot. I want to move. It's kind of risky moving the 55 tonner up, but I do want to finish this guy. Oh shit, this is the summoner. Um. Let's try this. Firing full on enemy. Yeah, we got a tag on. Damn. I thought I was moving uh, Goofy there for a second. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I guess because he's right here, I thought it was him. That's probably why. Well, our support is just going to hang out back there, it looks like. Which makes it free for us to uh, take care of these guys.
the crazy thing would be just to move up and activate the uh, the vehicles at this point. All right, let's get our stability back going this route. And then... Let's get some range here. And then let's look at something here. 30%, eh? 52 on the Crusader. 39... 33 Roughneck Well, buddy You decided to stay, so You're the one that's going to get the face full of it Alright, not bad Not bad Looks like he's got Stealth X or something going on But it's not helping him out any Lerms are going to come down hard on that guy in a second. If this is a four and a half skull escort, I'm interested to see what a five skull escort would be. Because maybe we do need to turn it up a little bit. Okay, who's going next? Come on. The Anubis probably? Not going at all? Thinking the roughneck. Full speed, no shoot. Got it. Yeah, that's pretty damn good chances to hit. We're gonna take them. Alright, I'll give them the whole nine yards. Okay, pretty good. Stripping armor. What do we got? We got Goofy next. Okay, he's running now. <laughs> that was our subtle way of saying to him, you should be running. Come on, what do we got going on over here? So we got Goofy left. We got Mastodon left. I was hoping to give that Roughneck a face full of LRMs, but uh, he's decided to move a little earlier than I thought. That Thumper is going to go down with uh, with Goofy. And then we'll just have to, to see where those Lerms are going to land. Maybe the Chopper? I don't know. The Anubis, maybe? I don't think the Anubis moved, so... Yeah, can you finish this vehicle off, please? Yes, Commander. Give this guy a little point-blank range love. Um, yeah, I'm not afraid to fire everything. To One for the scrap heap. Sure is. You got that right! All right, we got our Lerm boat left. So I'm thinking moving up into here, maybe applying it to the back of the Anubis here. I don't think we'll claim the Anubis this turn, but... I don't... I mean, I'm not sure about shooting on the backside of these guys, because at some point, I'm hoping, they turn to fight, in which case I would rather have been shooting at their front. Okay, this guy is 23 percent. 16. 18. Chopper is the same. I mean, uh, we can't fire the barrage at it because you can't target choppers with a barrage, unfortunately. Alright, looks like it's you. We can leave the barrage off though, and we'll dump everything into him. Oh man, even at 23% he couldn't withstand it. You got that right! Okay, they're down 6 mechs, they got 6 left. Oh yeah, now you move up. Yeah, if you guys can kill the chopper for me, that would be appreciated. That guy is very uncharacteristic of beef. 
standing around doing nothing. Unless, of course, he's running his point blank AMS unit. Uh, we could kill that guy, but I think the Berserker should and does deserve a little bit of love. Um, you know what, though? Let's take the chopper. Nice. Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah. What can I do you for? Let's keep the pressure. And HE it is. Let's fire on this guy's backside. Got an AMS, it's not helping him that much though. Ooh, yeah. Moving. Rack is still up. And this guy deserves the full attention of the rack. That's what happens when you run, boys. Don't you turn your back on me. Oh man, I remember the day my dad grabbed me. <gasps> He and I were in an argument. I think I was like 17 or 18 at the time. We were arguing about something. And he was just being so unreasonable. And I'm like, I can't do this. And I turned her walk away and he grabbed me by my arm. Spun me around. Don't you ever turn your back on me. Yes, Commander. Yeah, he was angry that day. My dad, my, I mean, my dad was generally an angry person. He's angry most of the time. I don't know, is this inside the, the thing or outside? Should we add a little bit of uh... Let's add a little bit of sweat here, just to see. I'm gonna move into here. Aye, aye. I don't know if we're in the actual base or not, but we're gonna move to there. And we're gonna dial this up to two because we can. See ya. We're basically chasing these guys off the map. Yeah, I need you to get your your ass the hell up here because I don't know if they're uh, if we're going to be activating here in a second. Let's just shoot this guy. Uh, let's warlord it because we can. And yep. Shit, man, don't shoot my guys. Now you move up. Now we're sweeping them from the field, you move up. So they got a rough neck, a thunderbolt, and a crusader left. They got three dead men walking. Commander? Oh, three dead people walking. I have no idea if they're all men or not. Uh, can we get a back shot on that other guy? No, but we can on the thunderbolt. So let's just move up here. Full sprint. TB. Let's go with everything. Engaging target. Wow, if we're penetrating, he's got weak armor. Critical hit, Commander. I know Thunderbolts generally have low armor for 65 tonners, but I got mine maxed out. They could have at least maxed theirs out. Why don't you guys go home, man? You're not even you're doing, not doing anything. Just go home. All right, who's our favorite? Who's the sugar daddy today? That's actually pretty good. No, nope. fifty-four. That's that's the there's our there's our juicy piece of beef right there. See ya. Christ, we're sweeping these guys from the field. Okay, we didn't activate the base. We will this turn, because we're going to start pushing it. Alright, let's fire everything with the arrow. Goofy does better much closer. 
So let's uh, get him in there. There you go, buddy. He's all yours. Good luck with that AMS. Here you go, moron. Alright, we're going to use the standard ammo. Little less chance to hit, but we're just gonna, I don't want to waste the HE. I want this guy to keep running, though. Oh, now you're moving up. Turkeys. Oh, that's a direct line of sight. Confirmed. Rack is still at full power. Let's get the Baraji on. Let's get the Warlord on. Let's rack this guy to death. He's hanging in there. What's up, boss? Uh, could you Ultra 20 his ass for me, please? Where do you have to be? Come on. Right here, eh? Walk it over. On my way. Uh, let's fire both. Not enough. Waiting for orders. Still having a hard time killing this guy. Confirmed. Everything on him, please. Confirmed. Jeez, even with the increase of gunnery, it doesn't seem like it does that much difference. But I guess really it's only 2% per gunnery. So I only added 4% chance to hit to her. Which I guess isn't bad. You know, could have been a lot worse. Alright Mastodon, let's get in and activate these this the mech sam or the uh, convoy sandwiches here. It's all yours dude. God, the LRM-70 is devastating. Now all we need to do is find some more clan LRMs, get that second archer up. Although I think if we're going to do it, I think we turn it into like... Um, the MRM boat. Because we got, we've got two um, MML-10s. And we've got two MRM tens, which I think we could throw on that thing, with the improved accuracy ammo for the MRM tens, and you know, SRM deadfire ammo plus like, you know, LK ammo for the SRMs, or for the MMLs for the SRM damage for them plus the LRM. We could add Inferno ammo in there. For the MMLs, I don't know. That's a, it's another possibility. We could kind of vary it up a bit. Gonna regret that. What else do we got back there? Looks like a crab and a bushwhacker. Could be wrong, because it's kind of far away. At least these vehicles have got a straight shot to get out of here. I like those other guys. They just the clan wolf guys that didn't want to drive through the water. This <laughs> is one vehicle is just like, nah, I'm not going through there, man. It's too wet. It's too wet. What's this guy? Hatchetman? Hellbringer? What was it? Come on, what is he? Brigand. Okay, we're gonna steamroll these mothers. We lost sight of our battle mech escorts. Check your rearview mirror, man. We're right here. See? Objects in the mirror are much closer than they appear. Oh, one of the big ones hit. Nice. Now, I think I've got another heavy improved laser um, in my storage. So I'll have to update that uh, Hades. I've been kind of neglecting it because it's been running so well. All right, let's use everything on this guy. Commander. Where are you, buddy? Let's get into here. Let's fire the medium lasers. I don't think the Ultra can reach that far. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just fire all this stuff. You never know. 
He's not main. He's not meant for close range anyway, or for long range. I mean. Well, at least the Griffin's coming forward. Not that we need him. Yeah, bushwhacker and a crab. I was right. How often does that happen? Like almost never. I always get the look of the mech wrong. All right, Thunderbolt. Oof, really? We are running low on on lerms, man. Let's leave the lerms off for now. Let's fire the mediums. Although you know what? No choice. I think I'll turn him back on next turn because we are going to be over the hill and much closer to the enemies at the end here. So at the end, we'll be close enough for dead fire. One thing I gotta say though, you burn through those uh, lerms real fast. Alright, let's fire at this guy. Alright, a little bit of damage. Huh? What do we got a chance to hit here? Still, that's not that bad. Let's just go to two. Save our recoil. Um, we got four turns of firing left with this. Ah, uh, we'll just use it. Okay, one hit. Streaks didn't fire. All right. Good to go. Now you get your ass up here, buddy. Oh, oh. Who can we see? The crab. Let's just give it to him. One thing about the ATM build, though, is we got lots of ammo. We got three tons of ammo of regular and three tons of ammo of HE. So that's like, what, nine, 18 turns plus a little bit of firing. No, more than that. It's a fair amount of turns of firing. We might be able to, you know, lose one ton of each, but I'd rather not. wish there was a way you could just like rather than having to choose a whole ton of ammo you can say throw an LRM bin in or throw a ATM bin or SRM bin whatever the bin is you throw a bin in in a torso and then you load it with ammo as much ammo as you want um, and that will dictate how much it's going to weigh Full oof really eh Oh, one hit. A little bit of fire suppression, that's all it is. I'm not interested to find out what that bushwhacker has. Let's get into here. I don't know if it's the, uh, the rocket build or what that is. Oof, really, eh? Bad chance to hit anyway. Alright, this is for the mediums and tag on this guy. And we'll move forward. Let's hope those vehicles don't move very far. Okay, he got one hit. That's kind of nice. I'm going to put some lerms on that guy, hopefully uh, get him unstable. If he doesn't move before us, I don't know if he is or not. But yeah, as I was saying about the racks, like you could say, you know, the rack weighs one ton. So you put a one ton LRM rack in and then you just fill it with ammo and the amount of ammo that you fill it with is dictates what it weighs. Right? And it can go up by like, you know, like you know like a point 0.1 ton ink or yeah point 0.1 or point 0.05 ton increments or something all right let's just fire this on him okay he's unsteady 
Let's not sprint it. A better chance to hit if we don't sprint. Beautiful. Let's fire it all. That's a warlord. This actually. Uh, and let's hope we get a lot of CT hits. Okay, nice shot. Oh, he's got a prototype. Ah, uh, really? MRM twenty. Well, we gotta trash him. He probably has an XL engine, huh? Let's see if we can just torso him. He's going down. Yep. There goes all his incendiary <laughs> Meltdown. There goes all his incendiary ammo. Good shooting, Goofy. Alright, we got Mastodon left. But yeah, that way you can, you know, you can say, hey, I'm loading in X amount of HE and X amount of standard or X amount of dead fire and X amount of LK and X amount of whatever, just the number of rounds. Then you can just choose which, which, which uh, launcher is using which ammo, right? Now you have to use it, like I would say, you would probably have to use it in increments. So, for instance, like, if you have LRM 15, you know, you'd have, a, you'd have to have an increments of 15. So that at least, well, I don't know, I don't even know, know if you need to do that. Let's get up here further. How far can you go? There's good enough. I don't even know if you'd have to do that though. Twenty-eight percent, huh? What else we got? Twenty? The bushwhacker, that's not bad. Twenty in the crab. I think we're probably that's a side shot though. He's far enough away. The bushwhacker is really more of a threat to me. Because uh, he's got an a, he's got an a uh, AMS. Wonder if it's an advanced AMS. Love to have the advanced AMS. He's got a pretty serious AMS though. Anyway, that's just my thought about the uh, the weapon racks. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's say hello to this guy right here. And yes, I'm using the barrage on him. I know I'm close, but we're going to do it. Have no doubt it will be the heat is frying my internal. Did you get him, though? Did you get him? I think you got him, though, didn't you? No, oh, he's shut down. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, your heat got reduced, and he's dead. <laughs> He's dead. God, that weapon is just so insane. Oh, here we go. Wind it up. Here it comes. Two turns of regular LRM fire left. Let's crack this guy's nuts. We're still going to have a whole other lance after this. <laughs> He's running. He's running. All right, where am I? Let's get up here. EMI. Public image limited. Whatever happened to them? Let's fire on this guy. I mean, you think I know? I used to listen to them. Not all the time. They weren't one of. They weren't like one of my, you know, high rated bands, but Pill used to be pretty damn cool, I gotta say. Roger that. Uh, I'm not gonna fire the tag. 
Let's just fire the alarms though. Guy with the AMS ran away, so. Commander? All right, just keep moving forward. Aye. Got a little bit of alarms left, so we might as well just. Well, yeah, we might as well fire at this guy. That, Can knock his ass over. Beautiful. Now all we gotta do is get these vehicles to move forward. Orders. All right, duck. the chance on this guy 28 or we could kill the crab let's go for the kill I copy. okay I wasn't sure I was gonna get that with only one sh one AC 20 round but I don't want to waste it because we still got another Lance coming and I have no idea what they're gonna have all right, let's get in here for some HE fun. He's giving you, your, he's giving you his back, so might as well have fun with HE, and might as well have fun with HE Warlord. And here it comes. Double XL Gyro, eh? Come on, convoy. Let's move it out. Ooh, 11 from 15 hit. Huh. Okay, we got one hit on him. He lost evasive. We can get initiative on him next turn. He's pretty much toast. Which I think we probably will do. If these guys don't kill him. Ah, beef, finally. Well, is he going first? No. Yep. Damn it. So this guy's engine is probably damaged. I don't know. Waiting for order. You think, Duck? Moving out. I think a single AC twenty round through the back will do it. Now let's see how you handle this. Well, you needed the lasers, but whatever. Enemy down. That looks like it's going to be some good salvage. All right, let's get. Uh, we got to figure out where we're going to be here. Thing is, is they're going to show up, but then have like immunity to fire. Let's get out of the vehicle's way. Okay, infiltrator, you need to be up here too. Probably up on this hill. Okay. Don't care about these guys. Okay, you need to get close. Because that's how you do. Stone Rhino. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get in here. At least the vehicles can still move. You should be able to see you. Mastodon is like... Did they not move? Who's this guy, the Griffin? Let's get over here. Move into position. Let's hope their vehicles move. It's really annoying when they just they don't like one guy the higher initiative guy goes back here and then doesn't move because there's other vehicles in his way. They should probably I don't know if there's a way to do it, but assign initiative to whichever vehicles further along the road so the 
the first vehicle on the road automatically gets first initiative and then they cycle it back. That would be kind of neat. Then you wouldn't have to worry about all these delays and stuff, right? Oh shit, this guy's back here still? Dude. Okay, Mastodon's got to get back there. Yeah, we're not moving this turn. Except for maybe you. Let's get into here. Confirmed. And Goofy will move up as well. So Mastodon... This vehicle better freaking move, that's all I got to say. Okay, he's in range now. Yeah, you're fine. Get you up on this hill. That should give the vehicles room to move. And then if we sprint Goofy down to, let's say, here, so he's out of the way and they can get out, that should be enough. All right, they're going to end up coming this turn, unfortunately, because this guy's going to go out. And that's fine. Oh, no, he's not quite fast enough. Okay, that gives us another turn to move vehicles up. We'll most likely kill the reinforcements before they've got, uh, the vehicles have gotten out. Depending on what they are. Okay, those three guys have moved. That vehicle didn't move, did it? I'm going to have to go and look and see if it's got something to do with, um, yeah, we may have to blow him up. He's not moving. <sighs> okay, let's get you in strike distance. Stay there, please. I'm receiving you. Okay, you can stay there. Confirmed. And You're fine there. Stabilizing. Trying to make sure we have people along the roadway here so they keep moving forward. I don't that guy at the back, I think we're probably gonna have to blow him up. Yes, come in. But we'll worry about that at the end of the battle. If he doesn't move this turn, okay. Yeah. Okay, it looks like a vehicle. Okay, let's get behind this guy. I don't think it'll matter. Come on, move along the road. I hate the fact that we'll be losing like, I think it's like 25% if they all get out or 10% or, or something. I mean, we're not getting paid a lot, which is why I don't mind blowing them up, but still it's like kind of annoying. Okay, Ray, it doesn't look like they got much back there. All right, let's do this. There's our dropship, Zula 2, a Lament, the Wraith, and something. All right, they do not have drop immunity now. 60 ton carrier, that's a lot of missiles, so let's take care of him. Receiving you. Now the Wraith, three energy, Yeah, we want this guy. Wow, really that low, huh? That guy took a laser hit, though. <laughs> sure. That's pretty low. Let's go with the tag as well. Let's, let's fire it. 
Oh, we hit our own guy. Damn it. Sorry, buddy. Let's move forward a little bit. Yeah, that's my bad. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, pulse laser hit twice. Nice. And some missiles. Nice. Okay, the carrier's gone. Reporting. Enemy vehicle I think that guy's really the main threat. Do we have anybody else back? No, we don't. Let's move forward. So we got four vehicles forward. Looks like we got what? Two guys are going 18. Three on 18. So they've got this guy first. He's probably figuring out what he's doing right now. Um, uh, nothing? Really? Just gonna stand there, huh? Just don't shoot your own guy in the back. Although I should use a tag against this guy. But let's just target this guy. One thing at a time. LRMs are gone. They are. You got thunder though, so. You want thunder? Affirmative. Huh. You got no increased heat, huh? Alright, uh, I know we can take this guy out. Well, maybe not. He's got a lot of stuff on him, though. Oh, man. Sorry, sorry to have to explain this to you, but... Uh, let, me, let me just explain this to you. Heat coming off them. Oh, it's so much fun. Why is killing people like that so much fun? Alright, now do we take this guy? No. Sorry, buddy, but... Oh, you're shut down? Torso strike. See you later. Kill confirmed. Target eliminated. Two down, two to go. So I wonder, if we didn't have that escorting lance to um, soak up some of the initial fire, I wonder how this would have uh, turned out. Because they did soak up a fair bit of fire. You know? The uh, chopper hitting the beef smack with, like, incendiaries. At least that's what I think he got hit with. The thumper firing a couple times. The missile launchers. We would have taken a bunch of damage. I don't think that guy's going to move. All right, full speed. I haven't got much left, but we'll drop what we do have on this guy. Not much, but whatever. K2 out. We don't have any guns left, we're done. Okay. What are you guys doing? There you go. I don't think the other vehicle's gonna move, he's just gonna sit there. In which case, we need to save a tag barrage for that guy. Okay, their guy, Izula. He's got a lot of weaponry on him. Kind of concerned. If he targets a vehicle, it could be bad. But I guess it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be they're gonna be losing a vehicle anyway, so. I 
All right, was this fair? I don't think it was really that fair. So I think we're going to have to, I mean, a five skull escort mission would probably be better. We'll have to try like a, a four skull attack mission or something. I don't know. Got to figure out what our, uh, let's shut this guy down, what our fairness uh, scale is going to be here. I mean, we could keep t taking missions that that give us a huge advantage, but is that going to be fun? Like, I mean... Alright, let's... Uh, Zula's got a lot of armor. I mean, we could just... But we can see... The, oh, I don't know. Let's just finish this guy up. Wow, we missed with one of the big ones? Really? Doesn't matter, but... Oh, pilot lethal damage. See ya. Let's get into the open. So we don't get a minus hit for being in the trees. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to use the thunder. But, oh, we might as well. Why not? Casey decides to move. That was a critical hit. Christ, that looks like a cruiser tank. It totally does. A British cruiser tank from World War II. It totally does. Sure. I think this guy needs some splaining. Azula, you got some splaining to do. Oh, they both hit. Beautiful. See you later. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Now all they need to do is get out. We need to get a tag barrage on that guy that's not moving. Because he's basically said fuck you to us. He's not moving anywhere. All right, but I'm ready to go. I know you are. We're all ready to go, but we got one guy that's not going anywhere. Yeah. Who's got the Baraji? Not you. All right. Let me know when you need me. I always need you, buddy. Okay, that guy's out. Oh shit, those vehicles better move out. Okay, that guy's out. I'm here. Uh, yeah. Let's just see if that guy will move. I don't think so. Nope. Right here. All right, well, who's got a barrage up? Uh, one more turn, huh? Yes, Commander. Standing by. Yeah, you don't have a barrage either. On my way. Double time. What happened to all our barrages? Okay, we got an arrow we can drop in one turn. I think Hellion's got a barrage. Yes, Commander. Dallas doesn't. I know we've got, we've still got one kicking around. So we've got two barrages and one arrow. Is that it? I guess so. Commander. Yeah, one turn to your barrages back. Let's get over here. Uh, Alright, that kind of sucks. The fact that he's not moving. Um, let's get over here, maybe. This is exactly what I did last time. For some reason, one of the vehicles in that last mission where the vehicles didn't want to move, one of the vehicles moved off to the side and then said, hey, uh, you know, some of your vehicles have lost sight of your uh, your mechs. So we moved over, and then he just decided he wasn't going to cross the river or anything. It was like a real pain in the ass. 
Oh, we got cool down at one turn. I was looking at the number. Number one rather than one T. So we may have to wait an extra turn here. Just hang on and find out. Yeah, we got cooled down one turn. All right. Well, that's kind of annoying, but. Engaging coolant system. Confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least those mechs will get out of the way. I don't know where they're going. Maybe heading to the dropship. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. Why, for some reason, he just they lost, they lost um, connection to us, and then they just decide that uh, they've permanently lost, lost the sight of us. I think that's probably what happens. Maybe he's stuck or like on something. I don't know because it that wasn't the case last mission. Better move back here out of the way. Wait, is that the Dire Star? No. There it is. I was hoping to warm up the Dire Star, but that's not going to happen. Alright, you just sit right there, buddy. Confirmed. You don't want to see what's about to happen. Uh, where are you? Am I not close enough? I'm not close enough with the uh, tag. Oh, maybe I just couldn't see him. I couldn't see that spot. Yeah, that's what it is. I can't see the spot. All right, let's make sure my guy's not within range here. Engaging target. Damage minimal. Standing by. All right, hold off, Dallas. Yeah, it's kind of lousy that we have to do this, but I've got no choice. Yeah, your guy's under fire. I, I've no, I've no idea who's uh, shooting at him though. No idea. Let's make sure my guys are out of range. Uh, you don't have anything. Stabilizing and bracing. Almost makes me wish... Oh, you got a barrage. Here we go. I should really take that off of this guy. Put the arrow on there. Actually, let's move. move order and then let's barrage, because at least we'll be good distance away can hit right next to him. Okay, internal structure damage. Oh, like Nobody likes you, man. Alright, Goofy, let's finish this up. Gonna fire everything. There we go. Now we can go home. Sorry guys, but that guy was just refusing to go anywhere. Not our fault. You gotta talk to your pilots. There it is, folks. Alright, so I'm not so bad at four and a half skulls. If they were clan, it would be a different story, I think. Okay, let's see what we get here. Um, Berserker's 100 tons, huh? Too bad they all tried to run. Mauler. 
Um, regular AMS, eh? AMS sensors. What's this? As far as in any incoming missile attack. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, we definitely need... Accuracy is pretty damn good, though. Internal carries 200 shots. So it's self-contained. Well, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to throw that in for now. That's kind of interesting. ERPPC cap, 75 heat, man. Seventy-five heat. That's insane. Oh, these heavy risk PPCs would be damn well worth it. We've got one of these already. Could you imagine getting a mech with three of these going? I mean, it's only two hundred twenty-five damage, but still, that's like three pinpoints of seventy-five. So those are possibilities. Uh, five LRMs. Are you, are you kidding me? Um, MML twenty risks, eh? I mean, if we go with an MML build on the second Archer, these are six tons. Flat 15% jam chance mit mitigated by gunnery. We put two gunnery on... They're 20, 43 heat though for a 20 rack? Um... What about another 10? Like that's, why is that 13 heat? And the risk 20 is 43 heat. I don't understand why it's, it's so much heat in comparison to the 10. Like you're better off putting two 10s in rather than the 20, it weighs the same. I don't understand what the difference is. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. I don't know. MML 7. Four and a half tons. Why is this so much lighter? Because risk, I guess? Has a jam chance. This one doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. That's why. Okay. Rotary 2 risk. Thumpers. Two and a half million. I'm just thinking now. Huh. Thinking now about C bills. 2.1. XLs are good. Oh, two triple plus exchangers. Are you kidding me? I'll take that. That's two and a half million each. Fire Control TC Mark II, plus one Evasion Ignore. Gonna throw that in for now, that's a good possibility. Plus Heat Bank, that's a bonus. Nova CEWS. What mech had that? Increased Sensors, increased Resolve Gain per Action. Minus one accuracy debuff to enemies in jammer range. That's actually kind of really good too. For our mechs that are close in. Pirate fire double heat. Oh man. Prototype double heat sinks are more important than that. Because we do have a prototype double heat sink kit. Right? We've got one of these already. Oh, it's a radical heat. Yeah. Well, we've got, one, we've got a Radical Heat Sink Kit and we've got a Prototype Double Heat Sink Kit. So let's take those. So much good stuff here. Weapon mounts. Not a lot of our mechs can use weapon mounts, unfortunately. Just because they don't have lower arm actuators. Um, lots of ammo. Rack 10 ammo caseless. Ah, uh, we do have a Rack 10. SRM counter missiles. 
Fired at any landsmate within range, AMS intercept 80%. Short range missile ammo, 100 shots. Really? So if you have an SRM launcher, this automatically fires? I guess if you've got it loaded in. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of cool stuff, man. Alright, I think we're going to go this route, though. I feel pretty good. This is actually kind of nice, the Mark II's. Um, the exchangers, I can't say no. I know they're three tons, but if we're going to be building an energy build, this is really, we have to have something like this. Um, and these we definitely need too, right? So let's go this route, just see what else we got here. Okay, Anubis Crab and, and uh, Lament Part, or Lament. Heavy Rifle, SR eight SRM-6s. Wow, okay. Angel ECM, kind of nice. Couple of case, well, four case twos, two endo steels. Bunch of stuff that we've already got, unfortunately. MRM incendiaries, that's kind of interesting. Oh, we got the SRM counter missiles. Okay, cool. LK ammo. We'll have to see what, how that works. I don't know. All right, let's continue. Okay. Let's have a look here. 32,000, so that's really nothing. For a four and a half skull mission, that's like no damage. So we're going to jump systems. I think I will go ahead and crank up the difficulty. And rather than increasing the mech parts to needing five, I'm going to leave it at three and just kind of let it, for the next little while, we'll just, whatever we get, we get. I'm not going to bother choosing any mech parts because we do need components for our mechs. We still need a bunch of stuff. Um, give us some more options. But I think I'm going to avoid taking mech parts unless we can assemble something that I can build and sell for salvage or will be an immediate upgrade to one of the mechs we currently have. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's what, the way we're going to go. Now we're going to have to jump systems, I think. We're going to go look for another system to take some missions in. Four, four and a half skull missions. So I'll look for a four, four and a half skull planet. Um, hopefully we can get some a planet with uh, multiple clans on it so we can have uh, multiple combat between like Wolf and somebody else or something. We'll have to see what we can find. Um, so we can go up against some clan uh, clanners and see what we can do. All right, so I am going to get the mechs in shape, um, add a few things. We'll, uh, I'll show you what those are in the next episode, jump planets, and when we come back, we'll be ready to go. All right, so until then, um, if you liked the uh, episode, please feel free to drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.